YouTube, YouTube, what it do, man? You know the motto, if you can, go over there, hit me with a like, which is the thumbs up, and that'll let me know I'm kicking my stuff, homie. This right here, homie, a nigga say, homie, you know, instead of gunning it up, we running it up, man. This just creator content. We just talking shit, just sharing a little bit of history, you know, bits and pieces of shit, homie. You know what I'm saying? Nothing big, homie. So this goes in. We finna go back into where we left off at during the NHP caravan through the 60s, pushing to Harvard Park Brim to function, homie. So now, homie, now, homie, we there. We, we, we arrive at the brims, homie. We amongst our homeboys. We amongst our peers. So you got homies cutting it up. You know, homies that didn't jail together. They in their piles, homie, because that's how I used to be back in the days. So you catch some G's that been jailing together, doing their thing, talking about us and shit. And then you got some YG niggas. We doing our thing and it filter on, but niggas is in their huddles. And, you know, it wasn't just, you know, it was in, in, in uh intermingling of different homeboys. It wasn't just segregated how shit be now and shit. Niggas be piled up different piles of homies. So we there drinking. Niggas is hollering at homegirls from different community blood areas and shit. The normal program of this shit, homie. So now it's running into getting dark, homie. You know, it's running into getting dark, homie. So now niggas didn't left my, our minds didn't left the event to, 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 to rolling back through the 60s <clears throat> is moving in at night. Our minds then shifted from rolling back through the 60s to now we like, nigga, fuck it. Let's go down Crenshaw. Because Crenshaw was like real, real popping back then. You would catch niggas in different parts of Crenshaw and they turf hanging out in them in some of these Pacific locations, homie. So niggas like, fuck it, homie. We will roll up out of here and, and, and take Slauson up or some shit. And cut, you know, cut down Crenshaw, homie. You know, some shit like that we figured out or something, homie. So, bam, homie. We, so, so now we mounting up and shit is going into the night from the picnic. Niggas blooded out and shake hands and, you know, homie, different homies is rolling out. So, we get our, we get our crew back together of the homies and shit, homie. We get our crew back together of homies and shit, homie. So now, bam, we get our cars together, dog. So we push out, homie. And like I said, in the early 90s, homie, motherfucking Crenshaw, homie, on a Sunday or something, it'll be cracking like a motherfucker, homie. You know what I'm saying? You finna step out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be cracking like a motherfucker on them uh, Sundays, homie. So say, so so we, we mount up, we deep, we take off, homie. Bam, we gone. So we 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 on the show deep it's the motherfucker. So back then niggas is boisterous, homie. Niggas is flagged out, flamed out, and totally disrespectful, homie. So I remember we cut up the shawl because we say fuck it, we ain't gonna go that way. We gonna hit the shawl. So we hit the shawl, homie. And I remember we getting by the churchy chicken area. Like it's all kind of cars coming down the shawl, homie. So you got niggas from different turfs, homie. So I remember. Like I say, this early, this early 90s shit. So I remember, I think it was probably like Excuse Big me. Underdog birthday or something. You need me to pick something up for you, let me know. All right, I'm good. Okay. Good looking. So this like Big Underdog birthday and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we, we hit the, we hit the Shaw and shit. So bam, we, we, we down there. So, you know, like I say, we highly disrespectful. We see rips driving, motherfuckers low riding, different shit. So we get in some, we get into some car to car shit with some rips now, homie. You know what I'm saying by the churchy chicken on Crenshaw, homie. So we throwing bottles and busting each other windows out. We throwing everything in the kitchen sink at each other, homie. If motherfuckers know what's happening, we throwing everything at the motherfucking kitchen sinks at each other down the shop, homie. With these motherfuckers, homie. So bam, niggas, niggas, niggas cut off, homie. You know, niggas, niggas throwing bottles and shit, busting each other windows and shit. We motherfuckers acting a fool, homie. So we cut, we cut back out, cut back out from there. I think, no, we pull over somewhere in the jungles. You know, make sure everybody okay, head count, everybody okay. We pull over in the J's and shit. So from the J's, niggas cut up Stalker, 
cut back down, Lossianica filter back to the turf. So at this time, homie, I'm standing Queen Street Blood Hood, homie. You know what I'm saying? I did most of my, you know, from the turf in there, that's like my second home. So I did a lot of time living in the Queen Street Blood Hood. So I go back, to, so from there, from that night, I, we go home. Motherfuckers separate, we wild night, we go home. So bam, that next morning I wake up, homie. So I go to get my hair done, homie. We had we had a couple home girls that stayed on Regent, homie. You know what I'm saying? Light skinned home girl named Dakia. And she had a fine ass sister named Kamara, homie. You know what I'm saying? So Dakia sometimes she used to do my hair and shit. That was my home girl and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I remember, you know what I'm saying? She looked decent. Her sister was decent. So I remember one time. She was telling me, like, yeah, you know, the homegirls, they be over here talking about you, saying how decent you look, half. So I'm like, is that right? So I'm like, well, shit, if it's a pile of homegirl talking about how decent I look, I should be decent enough to get at your sister, Kamara. Kamara was, like, hella red bone, cool-ass little gray to hair, like some wavy shit. She had, like, a little gap in her front teeth, homie. You know what I'm saying? She was like, you know, upscale homegirl in my time, like a motherfucker want to have and shit, homie. So I said, if they saying I'm decent enough, I should have be decent enough to get at your sister or shit. So she wind up, that kid and homegirl wind up relaying the message for a motherfucking shit. So she wind up in, introducing me to her sister, and uh, me and her sister wind up kicking it. Not on, not on like no adult type kicking it, but just kicking it. She liked it, my style, wore the curl. You know what I'm saying? She was kind of like, at that time, fascinated how a nigga just, you know, dialogue, how I talked, how I walked. And, you know, she was into her schooling at that time and used to kind of like, you know, come to the spot and hang out and kick it with a motherfucker. But later, you know, but so so at this time, the Dakia the, the really wasn't tied in with it. But to come on, come to find out later years, you know, the you know the homegirl wind up migrating, coming to the neighborhood pop rules, homie. You know what I'm saying? A couple few years later from there, she wind up coming, really, you know, coming over there, functioning with us, associating herself with one of my big homeboys, legendary big homeboy, Big Dulo, homie. You know what I'm saying? So Big Dulo had her up under up under the wing and shit, hustling, grinding. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, up under the homies guidance she's and shit of what we doing in our turf. She wind up kinda kinda becoming a part of our crew a little bit, homie. You know what I'm saying? Later later to you know, later to come to find out, you know, she 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 was you know, she was solid and shit. That's one of the homegirls I named in, in one of my stories that when I got bust on, I asked her to cut my cast off because I wanted to claim I wanted to get in the field and you know what I'm saying you know, try to cause some havoc because I had got bust on and shit at that time and one of the other homies got bust on. But anyway, you know, along with her having ties with the OG homeboy, her nigga come to find out her people was from 60s, homie. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, homie, you know, the OG homeboy, I guess, knew, knew her peoples and shit. And they used to come through. I remember I used to see them niggas like come through but the big homie would be like on the middle of the block, hollering at them niggas with a few more niggas. But at my niggas that we was all hanging with, at that time, we weren't too like, you know, we really weren't too sick, so friendly, you know. But we wouldn't intervene, because that's our big homeboy. He he used to tell us, nigga, like, you know, fuck it, nigga, if them niggas come through, if a nigga has certain company, if you didn't, you know, broke a leg or broke a nigga jaw. And, and they didn't did the same thing, and it's even, nigga. The nigga should be able to dialogue. That was that was his get down, homie. You know what I'm saying? But uh, so that was that get down, homie. Like like that, cause the homies really one too too you know too friendly like that, homie. But yeah, this '89 on up, G shit, not ye shit, and the nigga just serving in serving in history with the content. Cause see, back then, homie, it wasn't no social media. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of information we used to get would be from certain homeboys. So we had homies like like a little spider from Inglewood family, which is like a neighborhood power family nigga, family rule nigga. These was niggas that had associations with different 
motherfuckers in different parts of crip community. And that was like social media, how niggas plaster shit now about this and this and that. These certain homies that have different dialogues with different rips and be able to come back and say, hey, man, you know, it just that's just how it went. Like, man, did niggas say the homies came over there, this happened? Niggas say no, it'd be vice versa, but that's how we had information, homie. You know what I'm saying? So that's how niggas used to gather different information and shit. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the homeboy, little spider homeboy, B.I.P. and shit. Rider ass homeboy, dog. So I'm going to go into part three of some different G shit tomorrow. That's going to tie in with some other shit. I'm 89 on up. I'm out.